How's it going everybody? Combo here. Today we got five quick tips with the MGL32. And man, I gotta say, this is probably the most difficult time I have had making a guide and not making it feel rushed or put together or kind of like flimsy in the methodology in the techniques because I'm going to be honest with you I am fairly certain at the time of making this video this weapon is either going to receive a substantial buff or perhaps even a rework because as it stands right now I don't think this weapon is very good for actually like killing targets but as we're going to get into I don't really think that's the point of the weapon but still it could definitely be worked upon with that big introduction out of the way let's get right into it Starting things out at number one, we have the correct way to aim with this weapon, and there are a few methods. However, before we get super into it, I just want to say this straight away. I don't think this weapon is meant for being aggressive. The grenade launcher on the medium class doesn't exactly destroy walls super well, but it does do very good at damaging targets. I think this weapon is the opposite. It's really good at destroying buildings and walls and opening areas for your team, but fighting targets? especially in ranges that aren't like super far and you're not just guessing and hoping you hit people like artillery this thing does not shine so just keep those things in mind i understand this weapon is likely for destroying buildings and not combat but i'm trying to show you ways to minimize its weaknesses in those closer ranges hence this tip here so in order to have consistency when shooting targets you don't want to do what i call the three point bounce a lot of the times i'll see people shoot right in front of them like this go for these big bounces and hope it lands on targets and while it can be successful, the issue with that, especially if targets are moving, if it's a light player with a dash, I mean, if you find a light player with a dash, you're probably screwed with this thing, to be fair. If you're looking at the ground shooting, there's a good chance you miss the target, you might hit yourself, especially when there's a bunch of obstacles. The correct way to be aiming with this thing, what I like to do is right where their feet meet the ground, I aim just in front of that. And there's two reasons. One, I might just bounce and hit them, like right there. But the other reason, if they are far enough out, as you can see right here, if I'm shooting it like this, it's still gonna explode right by their feet, and it's gonna make my consistency consistency so much better. Now you might say, well what do I do if they're within like 5 meters and I want to hit them? If you have high enough sensitivity or there is a ceiling, what you can also do is bank them off the ceiling. So if my target's right there, as you can see, I'm just looking up and down to see where my target is and I can bounce them off the ceiling like that. If you're on the open and targets are just right in your face, I'll show you what to do. You don't want to shoot at your feet like this because it's going to come straight up and damage you. So just keep that in mind. You can use the ceiling or just put it right in front of their feet for those more consistent shots. Next up at number two, we have methods for dealing with those close range targets. Now the first one, and this is my personal favorite because I'm a little biased, I love the goo gun. You have, well, the goo gun. So the first thing you can do, right? If you simply stick goo or like stop a target in their tracks, if they're stuck in the goo, you can shoot the goo two times and that will allow you to damage them. This also immobilizes them and a lot of instances allows them, or rather disallows them to shoot back at you. So once again, the I guess rhythm for this is going to be one goo shot and then two shots with a grenade, switch back, one. As you see, it takes two shots to blow that up. This is very effective. However, if you don't like the goo gun and you want to deal with those targets in close ranges, because as I showed, as I showed here, if they're right in your face, even if you goo yourself, you can still do damage and just kind of stop them, maybe even just get your distance so you can hit shots like this. The goo gun is very good at that. Another option you have is the charge and slam because you know the goo gun is good but it can be inconsistent. If there's targets right in your face and you want to damage them while not blowing yourself up, the charge and slam is very good because you can jump around, slam, and do some damage. So you have both those options, just kind of keep them in mind. I think the goo gun has more applications than the charge and slam, but unde undeniably the charge and slam is just going to be better at those super quick panic moments with targets in your face. Next up at number three, we have a way to increase the lethality of the MGL as well as extend its explosive radius and burst damage. Now granted, I understand this thing doesn't need a ton of help in the splash damage department, but this is good for bursting down groups of targets, or especially in those solo engagements. So as I should off in tip number one, you don't always want to do the little three point bouncer because it's kind of slow and it relies on targets being in the same place. However, in this one instance, it can be useful. So we're going to be using the mines here. Hell, we'll use the uh, we'll use the fire mine because it's specific to the heavy and it's a bit more flashy. So the way this works, you're going to do your little three pointer as I showed off. While that grenade is in the air, you're going to throw the pyro mine, and essentially where that grenade lands is going to detonate the mine, and this can be good for burst damage. So I'll show that off here. You're going to bounce it, throw that down, and as you can see right there, 
you can detonate that mine. Now I did that one kind of close, so we'll do this one a little bit farther. So same thing here, go for that three pointer, bounce it, throw my mine. And as you can see right there, we do a bit of damage. The explosion from the mine hurts them, as well as the pool of fire may do damage after the fact. That's kind of why I prefer the explosive mine though, because it gives you more forgiveness in that splash radius. Another option you have, and this is the one that I typically do, doesn't rely on that three point bouncer as we talked about, because this thing is kind of slow, you know what I mean? And it relies on targets being in the same place. The other option you have is to throw the mine first right here, doing what we showed in tip number one with that aiming, we're gonna keep it low, maybe at the target's feet. And as you can see right there, you can do damage. The final option you have to pull this off, if targets are like right in front of your face or there's a bunch of rubble, you can also use the ceiling, although I would recommend doing this sparsely because it's kind of tough. So same thing right here, throw it, bounce it down. As you can see, you can detonate it. So just keep those things in mind because you can do quite a bit of burst damage, but it's definitely gonna take some practice. Next up at number four, we have something very simple, although it may be a bit difficult to see until you try it yourself. It's basically just a way to reload this thing faster. So as you can see right here, if we just start firing shots, we're gonna fire all six rounds and then reload. You can see that I can't start shooting until it's all the way back in my hand in the ready position, then I can start shooting. So I'll do that again. I'll just keep firing as you can hear. I am hitting the trigger right here. It is not letting me shoot till it's like all the way back in its stable position. However, we can make this reload animation a lot faster. So if you listen when I reload it right here, you hear that click right there? When you hear that click, it's actually reloaded and you can cancel the animation of the reload to shoot faster. So here's what that'll look like. All right, I'm shooting my rounds, I'm reloading, click, bam. As you can see right there, it lets me shoot faster. So this is without doing it. This is as fast as I'm able to shoot right there. This is with me doing it. So this is, I hear that click, bam. As you can see, I'm able to shoot much faster. And the way you're gonna do this, I don't know how it works on PC as in the binding, but on console, all you're gonna do is when you hear that click, press either triangle or Y, and that would allow you to effectively cancel that little animation of you putting it back in its ready position. And this will keep your uptime on grenades quite a bit faster. And finally, at number five, we have some equipment recommendations. So for me, these are just, once again, you don't have to use these. At the end of the day, it's gonna come down to team comp as to what are going to make these useful. However, these work best for me. As far as your specialist ability goes, for me, I like to use the goo gun because I'm kind of biased. However, the dash and slam can work as well. I wouldn't necessarily recommend the mesh shield. Once again, if your team comp, you know, does well with it, then certainly use it. You can also use the mines as I showed off earlier, because these can be good for detonating a lot of burst damage. Personally, I like explosive mines over fire mines because they don't linger. You know, you can kill your teammates um, with those incendiary mines and that can be kind of bad unless you're into that kind of thing. The other thing I recommend is the RPG and that's because this kind of gives you another option to deal damage. Unfortunately, no matter how good you are, if targets get in your face, let's say I damage this guy, right? Just a little bit. I don't want to be shooting right on top of me or panicking or anything like that because I'm going to kill myself and I'm going to look really dumb. Having the RPG to just kind of clean up targets or maybe break walls, which really isn't an issue with this thing, but it can come up, is just very useful and gives you a bit of a bit of breathing room when it comes to finishing targets. The final one is the dome shield. This is the kind of a similar reason. This just gives you a way to protect yourself, especially from those longer range targets. You can drop this down. Maybe you have people in front of you. You know, you can just bounce grenades out of this thing. And this can be very useful for keeping yourself alive. I also like the goo gun and all these things because they all kind of like work together in harmony. So like, for example, I kind of talked about this earlier, but let's say maybe I goo this guy, come over here, throw a mine bank it. As you can see right here, I can maybe detonate that, do some damage, blow up my goo, you know, just, just kind of things like that. At the end of the day, you should definitely play around with uh, whatever loadout you're using and find out what works because there really is no right answer. Anyways, everyone, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments section down below. As I said, there's a very good chance I end up remaking this video, not because I necessarily thought it was bad, and some people might think that, but because this weapon is in severe need of a buff or maybe even a rework. So maybe in the future, if there's enough uh, people want it, I will most certainly remake this video. But as it stands right now, this is where we are. I think this thing needs a buff. As I said, the only thing it's really, really good at is uh, destroying walls and stuff. Stuff, but there's so many things like the sledgehammer the dash and slam and as you can see right here just even shooting here like it could certainly be better maybe if you like being a person that stands still like this 
and shoots in artillery, this is the weapon for you. But like generally speaking, yeah, this thing, this thing definitely needs a buff. Anyways, everyone, I'm not gonna sit here and ramble. Thank you so much for the support on the LH1 video. I'm so glad you guys liked it. Might even stream with that thing because I'm really liking it. But uh, yeah, besides the point, not gonna keep you guys here forever. This has been Combo. Stay home, stay safe. And uh, yeah, later everybody.